Well, hello there. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, you know, if I were a chicken, if I were a chicken, I would be impeccable. <laughs> Actually, this morning I was up with the chickens. I was. I shook my tail feather and I ruffled my feathers like I always do. And I put all my eggs in one basket. <laughs> And before you know it, the morning was over. Easy. You get it? The morning was over easy. <laughs> uh, do you know, darlings and dearies out there, I hope that one day chickens will be able to cross the road without being judged on their motives. <laughs> Is that another chicken joke? <laughs> Well, I've got more of them. I've got plenty more of them in today's episode of Let's Learn Stuff. If you're stuck inside and you need some fun, she's the Grand Dame of Cagnet Dawn. Let's Learn Stuff! With Victoria Sante. Well, I was in a movie theater. Recently, and well, not very recently, this so is before the whole thing, you know, when I could go to a movie theater. Well, there I was in the theater, and the person next to me, well, the person next to me wasn't a person at all. It was a chicken. It, it was a chicken. So I, then I turned and I, I politely said, well, pardon me, but uh, are you a chicken? And the chicken turned to me rather impolitely and said, well, yes, I am a chicken. So I said to the chicken, I said, well, what are you doing watching this movie? And the chicken said, well, I liked the book. <laughs> anyway, our show today is all about chickens. That's right, chickens. Chickens, you know, chickens date back to 2000 BC, to the wild jungle fowl of Southeast Asia. Isn't that interesting? Now you've already learned something. Chickens are the most common domesticated animal with over 25 billion of them running around the earth right now. That's more than any other bird or any other fowl. Do you know they say if they divided up all the chickens who are living here on this planet right now and they gave them to everybody and everybody would get three chickens to themselves. How about that? What would you do with your three chickens? Let's see. To me, darling, I would, well, I, I would raise one chicken as a little toy and play with it. And I would, I would use one chicken uh, to, 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 to make my breakfast, to get raising to get eggs out of them. And the third one, I would come up with a more delicious option, but I'm not going to get into that right now. <laughs> you know, uh, that, look at look at all the chickens. That that that's how many chickens there are on this planet right now. That's a that's a live still picture from the chicken farm somewhere. <laughs> you know, chickens are divided up into two kinds. There's the male and the female. The 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 male are roosters. That's the red variety right here here i don't know where it is here yes that's it and then <laughs> then darling there's the hen and that's that where is it uh, that's this thing right here that's a hen that's a girl yes that's right do you know something I can take them up there do you know that chickens remember faces they do chickens can remember up to a hundred faces at a time so be nice to your chickens darling <laughs> and, and and each chicken i hear tell can raise well, I think they can they can they can lay three hundred eggs a year. That's a lot of eggs, isn't it? Well, maybe we'll find out more about them. Now, the do you know the old joke? Why did the chicken cross the road? Of course you do. That joke has been around forever. It was it was first published in the year eighteen forty seven in a magazine in New York. And, and look, we're still telling that old joke now, aren't we? I love the old jokes, don't you? <laughs> I just wanted, 
I'm showing you this picture because it's a picture of a chick and I think it's so cute, isn't it? Don't you just want to like hold it or squeeze it or, or bite into it or something? It's so cute. I, I want to have one of those, but I only want it to be just like that forever and ever. Just, just so cute. I love it. They're so, they're so cute, the babies. There are, there are, there are hundreds of breeds of chickens, not just chicks like this one, but there are hundreds of breeds of them. Let's 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 take a bit. Let's learn stuff about the kinds of chickens that, that there are in the world. This, oh, look at that one. That one's cute, isn't it? That one's called the Plymouth Rock chicken. I'm not sure why. Maybe maybe because it sort of looks like Plymouth Rock. <laughs> in a way, it does, darling. It does. Now here's a, a lovely chicken. This is this is the Rhode Island red chicken. That's right. It's well, it's not red. It's but it's it's sort of in the amber orangey family, right? Do you think? What a proud chicken he is. Here we have one. Do you know what this is? This is the Sussex chicken. Sussex. I just I just like saying the word Sussex. Sometimes I do. Sussex. Here we have a glamorous chicken indeed. This is this 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 chicken looks like it's on RuPaul's drag race, doesn't it? Yes, it does. This is the Polish chicken. It's, it's quite handsome. I love the hat. I love the feathers. I, I love all of it. Do you know what this one is, darlings? This one's the Jersey Giant. I wonder what exit it lives off of, don't you? Here's a fun variety of chickens you've never, never seen. This is the frizzle, the frizzle. It's, it looks like it needs a comb. It looks, the frizzle looks rather, I don't know, frazzled, I think. Yes, that's right. Here's a lovely variety. This is called the booted bantam. Can you see the, can you see, uh, oh, where are they? can you see his feet? He's got the, the boots. How do I, do you see them there? I, I don't know how to point on this camera, I don't. <laughs> but, just, but it's got lovely little feathered booties on there. I love it. Now, of course, here, I want to show you my favorite variety of chickens of them all, because I'm in a mood to show you chickens. Here they are. They are the chenille chickens. I love them. They're so beautiful and cute and just like that little chick, you just want to bite them, don't you? <laughs> oh, there's so many different things I think of when I think of chickens, darling, don't you? Well, among among the things that I think of, well, well the first thing that comes to mind is, is Chicken Little, right? We all think of Chicken Little, the, the movie and the book that he was based off of. Sometimes at lunchtime we think of Chicken McNuggets, the in, invention from the McDonald's Corporation. Speaking of food and chicken, we where would we be in the morning without a bowl of uh, uh, Kellogg's? There it is. Kellogg's Corn Flakes has, has a chicken on every box. How about that? Cock a doodle do, darlings. Cock a doodle do. Of course, then there's always Foghorn Leghorn, the cartoon character. That's a that's a rooster, and there's actually a breed called the, the Foghorn Leghorn. I think. <laughs> And then, of course, there's the rubber chicken. Now, darlings, what's funnier than a rubber chicken, I ask you? I ask you again. A rubber chicken always gets a laugh, doesn't it? And then here we have oh, Marie Callender's chicken pot pie. Yes, of course. The thing, about, the thing about Marie Callender's chicken pot pie is, have you ever had one? Have you ever found any chicken in it? It's usually like two peas and a, and a carrot and... And, and that's that's about it that's in there. I hope Marie's not watching. Marie, if you're watching right now, I, I probably just got a bad pie. <laughs> and also in the frozen variety of chicken is the Swanson TV dinner, the chicken fried dinner there. There it is. Isn't it lovely? Yes, I, I've eaten those before. And, and, and I, I believe it was invented by Gloria Swanson, the famous actress. And if I'm wrong, don't quote me on that. And I, I know she's not watching. Poor dear. Uh, I also, and I think of chicken. I think of I think of coco vin. Do you see, you see how French I am, darling? Coco vin. <laughs> I didn't do that French episode of Let's Learn Stuff for nothing. I learned what coco vin was. Coco vin is is chicken cooked in wine, and children can eat this because once you cook it, the the wine sort of evaporates and. And, and it's good. It's good. It's delicious. It's a, it's a delicious, delightful bowl of edible things. It is. And then uh, uh, when I think of chicken. I think of chicken pepperoni. How many of you remember the the, the seldom seen Goldie Hawn Chevy Chase movie where she tried to uh, make her famous chicken pepperoni, which, which I I've tried on several occasions to make my own chicken pepperoni, and I just took some chicken and I. 
I added, I added pepperoni. <laughs> Chicken and a biscuit! Oh, my favorite cracker. The cracker tastes like chicken. There's no chicken in it, but I think they put some like chicken bouillon inside there, and, and that's how they get it that way. Uh, when I think of chicken, I, I think of I think of I think of Joanne Worley's chicken joke book. Joanne Worley was an actor, a comedian on the TV show Laughing, where they would cons constantly give her chicken jokes to say, and she, she put them all together in a book, the delightful Joanne Worley. And, uh, and I also think of Marlo Thomas and that girl when she had to dress up to be in a TV commercial dressed, dressed as chicken. <laughs> I don't know what that is. And of course, we all, when we think of chicken, we think of Kentucky Fried Chicken. There yeah, it is, Kentucky Fried Chicken. The second largest chain restaurant there is in the country. Started in Louisville, Kentucky. And it's founded by, of course, we all know him, Colonel Sanders. There he is. That love, isn't he? He's a, he started cooking chicken at the age of seven. His, his mom taught him how to do it. Uh, she, she was a single mom and a big family to run, so she taught she taught Harlan that that's his name, Harlan, how to how to cook chicken for the family, and he took a liking to it. And as he got older, he he decided to go into business, and he opened up a a gas station. This is during the Depression era, of course. And on the side, uh, inside the gas station, he he would serve chicken. <laughs> but he served it in there, and people people started to like it and buy it from from a gas station. His gas station chicken, and he um. He had to cook it fast. The, the oils were coming in so fast that he took a, 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 um, a pressure cooker and he modified it into what he called a pressure fryer so he could get chickens out there fast. Well, before you know it, he had to add a dining room onto the gas station so that he could fulfill all the orders of all the chicken that people wanted. Isn't that amazing? That's right. His business grew and grew and grew and grew. And that's the first Kentucky Fried Chicken. It was actually called the... Common Cafe and that featured Kentucky Fried Chicken. How about that? Now, Colonel is also the, the, the very first person who put chicken in a bucket. Before that, we just got chicken. We didn't have a container for it. But thanks to Colonel Sanders, uh, let's sell chicken by the bucket. That's a good idea, isn't it? His chicken had 11 herbs and spices. And although it's meant to be a secret, word has it that you probably have those 11 herbs and spices in mommy's cupboard right now. Here's a, here's a shot of a museum dedicated to Colonel Sanders and Kentucky Fried Chicken. This is out there in Corbin, Kentucky. And the building itself was actually one of the first Kentucky Fried Chicken restaurants that had a, a little motel attached to it. Isn't that cute? And for all the Kentucky Fried Chicken that we eat in this country, uh, this, this, the, the, the most Kentucky Fried Chicken is sold in Japan. It's actually customary on Christmas to get a bucket of chicken and celebrate the holidays. That's... That's just, that's just wonderful. <laughs> well, let's see who's out there today. I, I've been chatting and chatting. Uh, well, Jason says he's learning so much. Well, you're a good boy, Jason, you are. Uh, Emma, there's Emma. She's speaking of Sussex. I love saying it. Happy anniversary to Prince Harry and Meghan. Isn't that lovely? Uh, Ingrid says the white one matches your hair. Well, do you know, so does Colonel Sanders. <laughs> I think we have that in common. Emma loves that girl. So do I watch it every night, Emma. I do. Who else is out there? Uh, I love a good chicken hat. Yes, Michael. I should have gotten a little photograph of that. Uh, yes, uh, these chickens keep on coming, as chickens often do. They just keep on coming and coming. Uh, Michael, is, oh, Michael, you're a little late today. You're a tardy young man. Are you, now, you, now let's go back to the front part of the show. We'll start all over again for you, shall we? <laughs> We won't. But anyway, I want to let's get back to the show um, to help us learn. Oh, me, I got to get Michael's comment off of there. There we go. <laughs> live television, live theater, whatever it is. I'm a live person. I am. Um, I'd like to uh, now go to uh, a friend of mine, Farmer Jane, not to be confused with Jane, uh, that that annoying character from the uh, from the from the fun with Dick and Jane book, but this is Farmer Jane who who's going to tell us a little more about chickens. Are are you out there, Farmer Jane? Howdy, Victoria. How are you today? I'm good, Farmer Jane. You're outside, are you? Are you I on the farm? Am. 
I sure am, and I brought a friend with me. Well, who is who is that that you've got there? Tell us about him. This uh, is my senior chicken. She's the oldest one we have. Her name is Matilda. We call her Tilly for short. She's about nine years old at least now. We've had her since 2011, so she's getting pretty she old for a chicken. Does she go to school yet? <laughs> she's been through school, and she's been teaching the younger chickens. That's for sure. <laughs> That's she's wonderful. What you, she's what you call a dark Brahma. And the interesting thing about this breed is that they actually have feathers that grow down their legs and come out the sides of their legs there. <laughs> it kind of, reminds me, kind of reminds me of my leg hair right now, being in quarantine for so long. It's so long. Looks like these feathers here. <laughs> you look, that chicken's wearing pants is what it's wearing, Farmer yeah. Jane, isn't it? And have you had have you had Matilda since she was a baby chick? Actually, we got Matilda when she was probably about a year old. So she's, you know, closer to nine, ten years old now. But we got a whole other flock of chickens that are laying hens right now. Five of them and all that we had most of them since they were chicks. I'm going to show you them right now. Hang on. Well, wonderful. Uh, it's fun to change. It's fun here we go. Here we um, go. Here are the girls. Can you see them? She is. Can you see the chickens there? Well, I, I, oh, oh, there they, there they are. Is that them? Oh, that's yes, there they are. That's some of them right there. And guess what, Victoria? Just by her circumstance, we happen to have one that's named after you. This one right up front here, the red one, she's a Rhode Island Red, and her name is Victoria. How about that? Well, that's a, did you name her after me, or is that just a coincidence? That's just a coincidence. She was named beforehand. But then we that's have a whole wonderful. bunch of of other chickens here. I like to have fun with naming my chickens. I name them after funny things and I love musical theater and I have a set of chickens that are named after the Schuyler sisters from Hamilton. So I have Angelica, Peggy and Eliza and the chicken right in front of you here is a special speckled Sussex. That's Peggy. And right over here is another dark Brahma. Her name is Eliza. And then Julie. right over here, see that one right there that's that's kind of goldenish with the fluffy cheeks. Yeah. Her name, her name is Letty Lutz, and we named her the after the greatest movie for the weird lady because those tufts of feather on the side of her face make it look like she's has a beard. Yeah. And then right here, the right one, that's Becky. We named her Becky after one of the Dory movies. Becky was a little crazy bird that used to fly around, and Becky was a little crazy when we first got her, so we named her that. <laughs> She's silly, but they're all a lot of fun, and they give me all sorts of fun and, and attention, and they lay every one of these five chickens right now lays an egg every day. Well, that's just so wonderful. So, so I get five what, eggs every day. That's incredible. Uh, Farmer Jane, uh, what are those chickens eating right now? Right now, those chickens are eating one of their favorite snacks. It's going to be kind of gross maybe to some of your viewers, but they're called dried mealworms. <laughs> Believe me, they don't taste very good. No, but I think I think I found one in the in the Marie Callender's chicken pot pie ones. <laughs> Maybe I'm sorry, so. Marie. I'm sorry. <laughs> but they love their worms, and uh, they actually smell kind of good. They remind me of pork rinds. I did try one once just to see what they tasted like, but they weren't very good. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Uh, how long have you been raising chickens, Farmer Jane? Uh, we started getting our first chicks back in 2011, so we're going on nine years now of having what we call backyard chicken flock. And uh, we live in a rural area here in Durham, so not everybody can uh, have chickens in their backyard. All depends on the town you live in, so you need to check with your town code ordinance to make sure that you can have some, but they're a great fun to raise and have around. Uh, you can buy a chick for as little as $5. Can you imagine that? 
Where would you where would you go to buy a chick if you wanted one? I wouldn't know the would, would they have them at Macy's or in the mall? <laughs> no, silly. You would go to a farm store to buy a chicken. You would go to like a you could go to an Agway even or a Tractor Supply even sells them. Those are some of the more commercial, bigger places. But a lot of the farms around the areas also have uh, chicks. They usually sell them at the beginning of spring. So all the chicks we've gotten in the past have been right around Easter time. Just before that, depending on when Easter falls. One of the great things too is with the variety, I like all sorts of different varieties of, of chickens and they each produce a different colored egg, slightly different. They range in colors from a very light beige to a very dark brown. This one's very light, like you kind of see in the grocery store, but then you have some darker ones. See the Ooh. difference in color and that Oricana, uh, Letty there, the bearded one, she's what they call an Easter egger, and she produces colored pastel eggs. They're light blue. Did they, so are, they, are they yellow in the middle like a regular egg? Yeah, they all have the same yellow, yellow yolk and everything, but they're just different colors on the outside of their shell. Do they come in purple? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a purple one. There might be like a light lilac, a uh, pastel-y one that some may may do. But we also got baby chicks. Would you like to see them? I want to see a baby chick? I do. All right, you then. Don't you? I'm gonna yeah. take a walk walk inside the house now because our baby chicks are still inside our little brooder they're getting just about big enough now to be able to go outside but for now once the weather gets warm enough pretty soon because they're coming up on seven weeks old now but they'll be old enough pretty soon to go outside and start socializing with the big girls and uh you know they'll start learning their pecking order because that's a real thing the pecking order so let me hear this is Calm down, Rosie. Now, calm down. This is Roz. Oh, she is what they call Bard Rock. Um, Bard Plymouth Rock is the full name. And these chicks are all coming up on seven weeks old now. We got them beginning of April. And she's one of our chicks. But I'll give you a comparison because we got three chicks and one of them. Mama Jane, are these chicks running around your, inside of your home? No, they have their own little special pen that we keep oh. them in. Now, this chick right here, we got at the same time. She's, she's about the same age, but look at the size of her compared to everybody else. She's huge. Her breed is what they call a Cornish cross, and she's bred. These, these chicks are bred specifically for eating. We don't eat our chicks. She'll be just a pet, but because they're bred for that, they grow really, really quick. So she is three times the size of the other chicks we have. She's huge. We named her Blanche after the Golden Girls, but she also goes by Baby Huey because of her size. <laughs> She's well, so that's huge. Wonderful. Now, I have one more question. I'm going to have to let you go. Sure. Um, but um, which came first, Farmer Jane, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> that's the age-old question. I don't know if that's ever been answered, but certainly we get our chicks before we get our eggs because it's going to be another, another up to six months before they start laying eggs. Well, that's a good enough answer for me. Farmer Jane, you've been delightful. Uh, well, thank, thank you, so Victoria. Thanks for having me and thanks for dropping by. All right, well, maybe we'll come and have a visit later and we'll have dinner with the chicks. Yeah, I'll come back now, you hear? All bye right, bye. 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 Oh, isn't that just lovely? I just love paying a visit to the farm with Farmer Jane. I do. Well, we'll be back with a little more of Victoria Sarte right after this important message. Now from Pantacino, take one yard, add three actors, and you get Pantacino Curbside, an original musical live in your yard. Perfect for birthdays, special occasions, or just for fun. Pantacino Curbside coming this summer. Details at Pantacino.com. 
And we're back. I, I want to show you. I have a, a photo came in from one of our fans, and I didn't. I didn't want to not show you this. This is the lovely Adrian, and she is. Uh, she is wearing her face covering, and she has on her spiffy Victoria Sarte T-shirt. She wears it well, and you can get yours at at tpublic.com. Uh, Victoria Sauté t-shirt. That's right. She looks lovely. Thank you for sending it in. And, and if any of you out there have a photograph of you in your shirt or, or, or doing any of the activities that you've learned here on Let's Learn Stuff, or if you just want to send me a, a picture, a coloring book, a drawing, well, then you go right ahead and do that. We'd love to see it. Now, I have, I have a brand new segment of the show. Uh, it's um, it, it, it may be a spin-off. I don't know. I'm I'm going against my better judgment, but in in keeping with the chicken theme, we have two of my two of my good friends. Uh, well, well, one of my good friends and his sister, uh, Dick and Jane, have a, their new comedy show that's debuting right here on the station right now. Let's go to the Dick and Jane comedy show. Hello, everyone. My name is Dick. And my name's Jane, and I want to welcome you to my show! Our new show. It's called The Dick and Jane Show. <laughs> huh. Anyway, I'm Jane! Hello, all the chickens out there. Here, chick, 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 chick. Here, chick, 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 uh, chick. Careful, chick. careful, Jane. You don't want to lay an egg on the first show. See what I did there? <laughs> you said chicken, I said egg. <laughs> huh. Anyway, let's get right to the yokes. She means jokes. I mean yokes. <laughs> See, I'm a practical yoker. It's all about chickens. Say, Dick, did you hear the one about the chicken who couldn't lay an egg? No, why not? She was no spring chicken. <laughs> <laughs> did you hear the one about the chicken who disappointed his mother? Ooh, what happened? He wasn't all that he was cracked up to be. <laughs> Why did the chicken go to the seance? Hmm? Mm -hmm. To get to the other side. <laughs> get it? Other side? <laughs> oh, 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 why did the chicken cross the playground to get to the other slide? <laughs> <laughs> why did the chicken cross the road twice? Oh. He was a double crosser. <laughs> oh, why did the chicken stop in the middle of the road? She wanted to lay it on the line. Ah, oh, yeah? Where do tough chickens come from? Mm. Hard-boiled eggs! Oh, 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 oh. Why, why did the chicken cross the road? To get to your house. Knock, knock. Who's there? The chicken! Ah! <laughs> oh, this was so much fun. I could tell chicken jokes all day long. Well, that's too bad. You can't. <laughs> They're kind of stealing my thunder with those jokes, weren't they? Well, let's let's have a let's have a nice round of applause for fun with Dick and Jane and their all comedy, all chicken joke show. <laughs> well, I'm run out, afraid we've run out of chicken jokes for you today, so I'm going to ask all of you out there to do me a favor: Will you wash your hands, stay safe, be kind to each other, wear your mask. And, and be good. It's the least you can do, isn't it? And and we're going to see you once again for a brand new exciting show on Thursday. Goodbye, everyone. If you're stuck inside and you need some fun, she's the grand dame of Cagnet Dawn. With Victoria Sante. You would think I could figure this out by now, but I can't. There's too many things to press.